What's up, Hoopers? This is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. And in today's video, we're going to go over some shooting secrets and drills to help you improve your jump shot like Paul George. Why don't we get started? All right, guys. Well, before we actually get started with today's video, let's just talk about why we're talking about Paul George and what makes him a great shooter. He's improved his shooting over the time in his career. He's become one of the best players offensively and defensively in the league because of the work that he's put in, the things he's been able to do, and the way he goes about it. Now, before we actually do get started with today's video, go ahead, click the link that's in the description. Enter your email address once you get to our website, and we will send you a free workout today. Now, if you've seen Paul George play in the NBA, you've seen him running off screens, handling the basketball, he's got a lot of ways that he can score, whether it's coming off of those screens, in a pick and roll situation, and he's, if he's the ball handler whatever it may be, but he's got that aggressive scoring mentality. And a lot of people don't even think that just having that mentality will help improve your jump shot, but it is a mentality. It's a mindset that you have to have that when you catch that ball, you're going to score the basketball. And the two drills that we go over today, the first thing you gotta think about is scoring and shooting that. But what makes Paul George a great shooter? Here are the secrets and tips that I want you to think about when you're doing these drills today. Number one, his hands. When Paul George wants that ball or when he's ready to shoot, his hands are ready. So when that ball comes, all he has to do is catch it, turn, and shoot. He doesn't have to catch it, mess with the ball, get it in the right spot. He's already prepared himself for it. So his hands, your hands are important when shooting the basketball. So that's secret number one. Number two, getting that ball off. Now if you're coming off and you're shooting and you're taking your time, you know, brushing your hair, worried about your face, whatever, you're taking too long. You gotta get there, your hands are ready. You gotta get that ball up to your shooting pocket, up to your release point, as quick as you can. So it's important, like a guy with Paul George, he's getting that ball over the top of his head with some good lift where defenders can't block his shot. So getting that ball, number one, from your shooting pocket to your release is, is point number two. And number three, getting your feet squared up. Every drill you see, both of the drills you see today are gonna require you to come off of a screen, square your feet up to the basket, and score. So if Paul George, when he comes off, his hands are ready, he's got his shot up to his release point, but he's always squared to the basket. So that preparation is a total with everything that comes into it. So tip number one, your hands. Number two, getting that ball from your shooting pocket to your release point. And number three, getting squared to the basket are all things that'll help you improve your shooting just like Paul George. All right, so now the first drill we're gonna focus on, both drills come out of a curl shooting, but we're gonna do the first one is just regular, normal, coming off the, the curl screen to catch and shoot. So I've talked about your hands. I've talked about getting that ball from your shooting pocket to your release point and your feet being squared. The curl shooting drill is gonna test all three of those. So all we wanna do is throw that ball out to ourselves in the, the area, we're in the mid range, about to the elbow. And all we wanna do is when we come out, we wanna make sure our hands are ready so when that ball hits our hands, we're ready to just fire it up, get it to our release point, our shooting pocket to our release point, and up, and we've got our legs squared. So when you're coming off that curl screen, your hands are ready, number one. Number two, you're getting that ball from your shooting pocket to your release point. And at the same time as that's happening, you're squaring your feet to the basket. Now, you wanna do this drill on both sides, making, making 15 shots. You wanna make 15 of these when you do it. So you're, you're throwing it out, you're curling, hands are ready, catch, shoot right into your jumper. Let's have a look in full speed. Now we've just done the regular curl shooting drill. Next, we're gonna add a variation to it. So again, we wanna fling that ball out to ourselves. So when we fling it out, now when we come and get our catch, we're still squaring towards the basket. We have that scores mentality like Paul George does. So we catch, boom, we turn like we're gonna shoot, but we feel the defender is coming after us. So we're gonna take one dribble, step back. The dribble is gonna get the defender to believe we're driving to the basket. Then when they try to recover, we push off, we step back, create space and separation, we get squared, we get that ball from our shooting pocket to our release as quick as possible, 
we rise up and knock it down. So just to walk through it one more time, we're gonna fling it out, catch, turn, boom, one dribble, step back, rise up, get your two points. Let's take a look in full speed. All right, guys, well, you just saw two different drills that is gonna help you work on shooting off of the screens. That's gonna allow you to put in the things we talked about with the shooting secrets. Number one, your hands, being ready to shoot the ball with your hands, getting your shooting shot from your uh, shooting pocket to your release point, getting that ball off as quick as possible, squaring yourself to the basket, making sure you're doing all these things and thinking about them when you're trying to improve your shot like Paul George. Now, I've told you about the free workout already. Don't forget to click the link that's in the description and to your email address once you get to our website so we can send you that free workout today. Subscribe to our channel, Think Pro Basketball, as every week we release brand new videos to help you become a better basketball player. We're here, use us. Get your daily dose of Coach Alex so we can help you continue to improve your game. Now, it's important that you get out there and you put the work in. You do the sets and the reps that we've talked about so you can work on your jump shot, work on your curl shooting, your curl shooting with the step back. It's important. These are things that are great that is going to allow you to take the next step in your game. So until I see you again next time, Hoopers, get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember to always keep hooping.